Hello! I thought that I would do a little bit of a chatty update haul type video since I've been away for a while. I know I've already posted one video since I've been back but that's it. <laughs> so I did have Covid, I didn't have it really badly, I didn't have to go to hospital, I've had all of my vaccines and my boosters so that really helped I think and I was really grateful. My symptoms were kind of different every single day. I think the weirdest one was that there was this one night where I had, I felt really cold and I had cold sweats to the extent that I had to get changed in the middle of the night because my clothes were soaking um, but that only happened that one night and then the worst one was the day that my like my whole face hurt because all of my sinuses were like swollen uh, so that was unpleasant but otherwise it was really just like a cold uh, so that was that was that was covid for me hopefully I won't get it again uh, I had a week and a half off work because I had to isolate and I'm a teacher so you know kind of can't really do that from home anymore we're not teaching online anymore and to be honest I wasn't really well enough to work anyway so I guess it was kind of nice to have a week and a half off of work but not the best reason uh yeah so that's that's that I have been getting some new clothes recently. This is one of the clothing items I have purchased recently so if you'd be interested in a clothing haul at some point then let me know. It's not something I often do or ever do on this channel but I'd be happy to share with you these items that I have bought myself. Um, quite a few of them are from Lucy and Yak. Some of them are not. <laughs> Uh, what else is there to tell you? I have been having a really good reading month in January. I'm enjoying most of what I'm reading. I've had a few DNFs. I'll talk to you about all of that in my wrap up which will be with you pretty soon because as I'm filming this it's the 29th of January so only a couple more days of reading to go. I do still hope to finish one more book this month but we'll see. I am also going to be starting roller skating lessons from tomorrow uh, which I'm very excited for. Those will happen every Sunday for six weeks so we'll see how that goes. I am super looking forward to it and I think that's all I can think of updates wise. If you have any questions then let me know. Oh actually one more thing, uh, Pondiful Books which is the book recommendations service that my sister Natalie and I run. Essentially you can buy parcels from us either with a mystery date with a book type theme or you can buy a parcel where you tell us what kind of book you would like and we pick something for you and send it to you either with some fun little goodies or just by itself and we are actually having a sale at the moment so you can get 25% off whichever service you'd like to buy so I will as always have Pondiful Books linked down in the description. Please do go and check it out and think about making a purchase from our small business and let's get into the book haul which should be relatively smallish. I've been pretty good this month so I'll start off as always with the books, book box books that I've got. So I literally just filmed this unboxing. So first off we have This Woven Kingdom by Tahara Murphy. There is this super beautiful exclusive Illumicrate edition with the stencil sprayed edges. This is a naked hardback so there's no dust jacket on that one and we also in that January box got a copy of The Ivory Key by Akshaya Rahman uh, which has these characters on the front and these on the back and sprayed edges. So those are the books that came in the January Illumicrate box which was 
Royal Secrets themed. Uh, have I got anything else that I haven't shown you? Yes, yeah, so one of my friends, Tasmin May, on Instagram, she's on booktube as well, I'll link down below, was um, wanting to get rid of some of the books that she bought from Fairy Loot. Uh, she changed her mind on them and I, I offered to buy them from her. So we have Angel Fall, I'll show you them properly in a minute, World After and End of Days by Susan E. I haven't read these before. Um, this is the first one with the purple edges and naked hardback and reversible dust jacket and I'll read you the synopsis for this one but not for the others because of course those are sequels so you don't want to know what those are about these are what the name suggests YA angel based books it's been six weeks since the angels of the apocalypse destroyed the world as we know it only pockets of humanity remain savage street gangs rule the day while fear and superstition rule the night when angels fly away with a helpless girl that her 17 year old sister penryn will do anything to get her back so it's kind of a paranormal urban fantasy dystopian type thing which is something that I tend to enjoy so I kind of I just wanted to give them a go and I mean it doesn't hurt that they're super pretty uh, and I do consider myself to be a book collector as well as a reader so there we go this is the second one they are all also signed by the author which I guess I should show you that too I'm pretty sure these are going to also be romance I mean presumably <laughs> and this one is green I'll show you the signature page go okay. and the reversible dust jacket there you go so yeah, I picked, I, I, I bought those from my friend, she sent them to me, and I look forward to reading them, hopefully at some point soon. I've been pretty good at getting through my TBR, as I said, I've had a pretty good reading month so far. I've, at this point in the, in the month, I've read 14, yeah, I've read 14 books so far this month, and one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those were off of my physical TBR, so it's going well so far this month. So I got those, and then today is actually the first day I've been allowed back out into the world, which was very nicely, and I went for a walk and I went to Waterstones because I've been missing bookshops so I did pick up a couple of books and when I say a couple I do literally mean I bought two books from Waterstones and then I bought one book from this little independent bookshop on the high street we were on. So I'll show you the books that I got in Waterstones first and I did also have a for from work for Christmas everyone got a £50 voucher and you could choose what kind of voucher you wanted. I of course chose National Book Token so I used some of those for these books. The first one is Battle Royale by Kushun Takami which is a book I've been wanting to read for quite a while actually. Years in fact. Basically this is the original, I don't know whether it's the original, but it's the original idea behind The Hunger Games, uh, but it's Japanese as you might gather from the author's name. I don't know, translated by Nathan Collins. I'll just, I'll read you, I'll read you the synopsis. It's meant to be much more brutal than The Hunger Games, which I always, I've said this before on this channel, 
whenever books get compared to The Hunger Games and I read them and I want to love them, they're just not brutal enough, so I'm hoping this is going to give me that. A class of junior high school students is taken to a deserted island where, as part of a ruthless author authoritarian program, they are provided arms and forced to kill one another until only one survivor is left standard standing. Oh, I didn't know this. Criticised as violent exploitation when first published in Japan, where it then proceeded to become a runaway bestseller, Battle Royale is a Lord of the Flies for the 21st century, a potent allegory of what it means to be young and barely alive in a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Made into a controversial hit movie of the same name, Battle Royale is already a contemporary Japanese pulp classic. So I guess Lord of the Flies is the original. I didn't know that. I didn't think Lord of the Flies was about people killing each other for sport. Okay, no. They, they're just, they're abandoned on an island and then, okay. I didn't think it was, but maybe I do need to read that at some point. The other book that I picked up was Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Mass. I'm continuing on with my read of the series. This is the next one. I already have all of the audiobooks, but I don't have all of the physical books. I did get a couple for Christmas, which were Empire of Storms and Kingdom of Ash but I was missing this one and Tower of Dawn. So I decided to just pick this one up since this is actually the next one that I need to read. And I really would like to kind of get on with reading series this year. So I picked that up as well. I'm not gonna tell you what Throne of Glass is about. I feel like if you want to know at this point, you know. And then the little independent bookshop that we walked past had these blind date with a books outside which is one of the services that Ponderful, Book off Ponderful Books offers and I just find it so fun so I decided to pick one and there were a lot of interesting choices but this one is Good vs Evil, Fears and Desires, Fantasy Horror which is something that I've been kind of getting into recently, Classic, who knew, and Ride the Carousel whatever that means. So, I mean, I'd be interested to know if you think you know what this book is. If you do, pause the video and comment it down below. No cheating. And then edit your comment later and let me know, if, or just add an extra comment, whatever, and let me know if you're right. So we're going to open this now and find out what it is. I have no idea, to be honest with you. No idea. I'm going to have to cut this no idea at all. Funnily enough this is ha exactly how we package ours as well, brown paper tied up with string but we hand write the, um, the prompts. I think this is just printed, pretty sure. This might just be a piece of A4 paper actually which is quite clever. A3 paper, in fact. Ray Bradbury, Something Wicked This Way Comes. I feel like I've heard of that. This cover is super creepy. Which, I mean, I guess makes sense. Uh, it's the week before Halloween and Cougar and Dark's Pandemonium Shadow Show has come to Greentown, Illinois. The siren song of the Calliope entices all with promises of youth regained and dreams fulfilled. And as two boys trembling on the brink of manhood set out to explore the mysteries of the dark carnival's smoke, mazes and mirrors, they will also discover the true price of innermost wishes. Interesting. When was this published? 1962 originally. I hope it's not racist. <laughs> That's always my fear with classics is if they're going to be racist or homophobic or something. Oh, he's the author of Fahrenheit 451. I knew I recognised the name. Oh no, Ray Bradbury was one of America's most elegant and poetic writers. I don't really like poetic writing. Let me, why don't I read the first page of this? Not out loud, <laughs> um, just to get a feel. Prologue. Yeah, it is quite a um, poetic writing style. 
it might be okay it might not <laughs> I guess we'll see so hey that's uh, that's half the fun of these things so that's it that's all the books that I've acquired in January I don't think I'll be acquiring any more I mean I might but it's unlikely considering it's the 29th today so uh, yeah hopefully this was not too boring of a video with all of my pointless chattering that's it for this one thank you so so much for watching if you like this video and want to see more like this from me then do think about hitting that subscribe button and i hope to see you here again soon thanks bye